yes you're welcome to enox videos today i'm dealing with some research tools many people carry out research they get data but do people have trust in your data how do you build trust in people who are going to use your data and how do you build confidence in people who are going to look at your conclusions they are what we call the research tools which i'm going to talk about in this video the first tool is called spearman's rank correlation the second one is called pearson's linear correlation the third one is simpson's index of diversity the fourth one is chi-square test and the fifth one is the t-test with the knowledge of this you'll be in position to come up with data that can be trusted and then conclusions which are accepted worldwide in the scientific world i'll begin with spearman's rank correlation and i want to talk about this word rank when you were still in secondary a student who had the highest mark was always at the top while the student who has got the lowest mark was always at the bottom so the one with the biggest value is at the top takes the biggest share so there's an arrangement starting from the biggest to the smallest and vice versa so in rank there is that sequential arrangement or serial arrangement so when you're dealing with the spearman's rank correlation we normally deal with two sets of variables which are not normally distributed for example if one was to determine the population of species r and species s this is species s and then this is species r but using a quadrat a quadrat we all know a quadrat has four sides can be measuring one meter by one meter that is one meter squared so if he throws the quadrat in the garden randomly and counts the number of species of ara for example in the first throw he found out 38 of ara and 24 of s he threw it again he obtained two of ara five of s he threw it the third time he obtained 22 of ara and eight of s so is there a relationship we really don't know whether there is a relationship let's look at the tennis throw when he threw it the third the tennis time he obtained 43 of ara and 30 of s so we as scientists want to know whether there is a relationship whether there is correlation between the two species in the way they are distributed one we first of all test it using a scatter graph we can plot the number of species of ara against the number of species of s so there's no rule which one should be on the y axis and which one should be on the x axis any way can work what we want to prove whether there is any relationship so a scatter graph can be used to check whether there is any relationship between two variables like in this case of species r and species s so after obtaining those values we can further proceed and calculate and determine the rank of the individual species for example we we'll look at species r in the 10 quadrats we look for the quadrat which had the highest number of quadra, uh, species like in this case it is quadrat number four which had 50 species and we give it 10. remember we threw 10 quadrats so it takes the the highest value that is 10. it is given the highest rank it is given the highest rank then which one follows let's check the, it was the 10th quadrat which had 43 species of ara and we rank it number nine which one follows let's check 
uh, quadrant number seven had 42, we rank it number eight. So we'll do the same until we reach the lowest, the quadrant that had the lowest number of species of ARA. And that's quadrant number two, it had only two, and rank it number one. It is the least, had lowest number of species. So these values, the rank, just show which one has the biggest value, which one has the smallest value. The one which has the small rank, that means it had the smallest value or number of species. Now we come to species S. Uh, it was quadrant number seven, which had the greatest number of species of S. It had 36, so we rank it number 10. Uh, when we check, uh, quadrant number four had 31, so we rank it number nine. So the rank tells us which one or which quadrant has the greatest number of species and which quadrant has the least number of species. The lower the rank, the fewer number of organisms that were present. The higher the rank, the, greatest, the greater the number of organisms that were present in the quadrant. I guess you, you understand what I'm talking about. So, Spearman's rank Correlation is always calculated using this formula. I guess you are seeing this formula. This is the formula we use to calculate Spearman's rank correlation. So in this formula, you can see we have 6 times summation of d squared n cubed minus n. So d stands for the difference in rank difference in rank then n represents the number of quadrats that were thrown for example in this case they threw 10 quadrats they threw 10 quadrats so we have the value of n but we don't have the value of d squared so we need to calculate it so we can use a table which can be constructed in this way we arrange the number of quadrats that were thrown and then we also fit in the ranks for the individual species basing on the specific quadrat. For example, in this case, quadrat 1 had rank 7, quadrat 2 had 1, quadrat 10 had 9. So we arrange just like we had in the previous table. We also do the same for species S and then we can determine D by subtracting rank for species R minus rank for species S. The order doesn't matter. One can ha might have had rank for species S here and here rank for species R, but the order doesn't matter. Whether you get a negative or not, it will be catered for another. It will be removed when we do square. So when we square, we're getting only positive values and then we need to obtain a summation of D squared. And in this case, we are getting a value of 12. So after getting trough, we need to fit it in our formula, that is RS, that is the Spearman's rank coefficient, is equal to 1 minus 6 times the summation of d square, which is 12, over 10 cubed, those were the number of quadrats that were thrown, minus 10, and the value which we are getting is 0 0.93. We can put it to two decimal places to be smart enough. Don't put very many figures. We only want two decimal places. This value is close to one, and any value that is closer to one is more like yeah. It shows that the there is a genuine correlation between the two sets of data. That's what it shows. There is a correlation. Mm, there is a correlation. So this value you can't take it for granted. 0.93. It means that the data that we have, or the number of species of R and the number of species of S, there is something, there could be some external factors that bring about that close relationship. There should be something in the environment that we shall have to discover in the next videos that I have to present. So, we have R S values for a probability of 0 0.05. So we are saying that you use a correlation coefficient table to look up value of RS. If your value of RS is greater than the value of the value of RS value for probability of 0 
you can see that there is significant correlation between your two variables for example in the other case now example we have got 0 0.93 but the n was 10 so n was 10 but the, our rs is above 0 0.65 so this means that there is a significant correlation between the two variables and in this case the variables are species error and species s there is a significant correlation i guess you have understood you need this table in order to fully con make a conclusion like we have just made this is your exercise which i want you to carry out uh spearman's rank correlation and find out whether there is significant relationship or correlation between species F and species G. This information is very important for your research. And in case you need help, you are stuck, don't cry. You can reach me on you can reach me on my WhatsApp. This WhatsApp is ever on day and night. Plus two five six seven seven five fifty six fifty two sixty three. However, you can also call this number is ever on day and night. Or if you don't have time of calling, you can send me an email on this and then I reply. Don't get stuck with your research. I'm there to help you and thank you for listening thank you for watching enox videos yum 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 yum